Dear students, welcome to Nadeem Academy, Principles of Economics. I'm here again with a new topic. And today we'll be talking about externality. What does it mean by externality? An externality is a cost or benefit. So these are the two terms you need to remember. Cost or benefit of any economic activity. It means whatsoever economic activity is being carried out by any company, any organization for producing something or any customer for consuming something. It has positive or negative impact on any third party which is not directly involved with that production or consumption activity. That is considered as externality. Let's see. It's types there are two types of externality number one positive number two negative externality the first one is positive so the word positive is itself self-explanatory so positive externality is when consuming or producing a good causes a benefit use i'm stressing that word a benefit to third party because it is positive externality right positive externality can be from production uh, production externalities like infrastructure development, research and development activities. For example, building a subway station in a remote neighborhood may benefit real estate agents who manage the properties in the area. Real estate prices would likely increase due to better accessibility and the agents would be able to earn higher commissions. Then research and development activities includes a company that discovers a new technology as a result of research and development activities creates benefits that help the society as a whole. For example, if someone who is well educated and well versed in the um, you know, science and technology will come up with the new ideas and create a new technology, it will help out not only that individual but a society as a whole. Then negative externality. A negative externality is when consuming or producing a good causes a cost. Look at this word. This is underlined cost and bold faced word to third party. It means whatsoever consuming activity or producing activity carried out by any party. If that has the negative impact or it has the cost over the third party, which is not directly involved, that is considered as negative externality. For example, air pollution, water pollution, and noise pollution. For air pollution, we know that a factory burns fossil fuels to produce goods. The people living in that nearby area and the workers of the factory suffer from that deteriorating air quality because due to uh, the air pollution due to the smoke etc water pollution as we know sometime a tanker spills oil in the sea or in the nearby areas of the water destroying the wildlife in the sea and affecting the people living in a coastal areas noise pollution people living near a large airport suffer from high noise pollution as we know that because not only airports but living in the cities they face such kind of you know noise pollution because of thousands of the cars, vehicles on the road, then airport, airplanes, and other sort of noise that creates noise pollution. That is again a negative externality. So I hope you understand the concept of externality. So now subscribe my channel Nadeem Academy, click the bell icon, like and share the video. Thank you very much.